Hi, I'm Sangeeta and I'm a new faculty with the Department of Medicine at UCLA and I work on the biology of insulin producing cells of the pancreas. It is well known that type 1 diabetes results from the loss of these insulin producing cells and replenishing these cells by transplantation has been shown to reverse the symptoms of diabetes. Unfortunately, getting enough of these well-functioning insulin producing cells has been a great challenge in our field. So what my lab does is to focus on the development of novel and cutting edge approaches to generate these insulin producing cells that function well and in abundant numbers. To do this, it's important to know how these cells are made in the body and how they work. The insulin producing cells in fetal life duplicate very rapidly to make more of themselves. But at this stage, they do not know how to function. They cannot sense the changes in blood sugar levels. The insulin producing cells in the adults, on the other hand, know how to function, but duplicate very slowly. So to balance the cell number and cell function is quite a challenge. This is where our lab's expertise come in handy as what we study is how these cells duplicate and how their function is regulated. Now the donor material for transplantation is typically obtained from the adults. And several pioneering studies have shown that the insulin producing cells from the adults do not duplicate much, even though these cells know how to function. So one idea can be to make these cells duplicate fast. But as we just learned, fast duplicating cells typically do not function well. So what we are trying to do in my laboratory is to first make these cells duplicate fast so that we can get sufficient number and then guide these cells to stop duplicating fast and start functioning. We have now identified a molecular switch so that when the switch is on, it makes the cells divide and when it's turned off, it sets off a program for proper function of these insulin producing cells. So by using this switch on switch off kind of approach, we can now make enough number of insulin producing cells that actually work well so that these cells can now see the changes in blood sugar levels and secrete insulin at the right time. We believe that in the coming few years, our studies will lead the way for therapy to effectively cure type 1 diabetes and its devastating complications. And we hope to achieve that with your help. Thank you so much for your support.